G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've had a good week. Uh, so this video, let's talk about some seven stars because I've done some rank ups over the last month that I haven't really showed you guys. Well, I have showed you, but I haven't really gone into them too much as to why. Um, so I've take, I've got 16 seven stars at the moment, actually. Um, I did select Ant-Man from the seven star selector that we got a few weeks ago. I got Namor from the Incursions Crystal. And then pretty much everyone else has come from um, basic crystals. I've, I've had really had really bad luck from Paragon crystals. Uh, I might have got uh, Venom from a Paragon, I think, once. But then I pulled him like twice from a basic as well. He's Sig 40. Uh, but I have taken three seven stars to rank two. Now, it's obviously, you know, I took Venom the Duck to rank two because everyone knows how good he is. <laughs> was a clear rank too you know he was my first ever seven star my first ever awakened seven star and he's just the best seven star ever the other two rank twos i have they are pretty close they're not far behind and they're probably the most relevant seven stars at the moment like if you're looking at alliance war this current attacker tactic the decay tag that hulk has he's um probably the best alliance war attacker this season which is why he's getting banned uh, almost every war for us in tier one um so I won't be able to use him much this season, unfortunately, in Alliance War, but uh, who knows? Um, we might get lucky in a few wars. And then if you look in Battlegrounds, this current, this whole season, America Chavez is probably been my MVP this season in Battlegrounds. Uh, she's just able to just punch through all these um, prowess buffs because she gets so much attack for each buff that the opponent has. So I didn't judge rank her up for this battleground season, obviously. She's just good in general, but um, it, it's really helped. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into some gameplay of these these couple of champs. All right, so this um this is actually when Hulk was back at rank one. So this will kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to how much uh, extra damage he does get at rank two. So this is against a rank four absorbing man. This is the last season, last season of Alliance War, season 43 on the um, node 39. You have employee intercept, mighty charge, crumbling armor. So um, it, it does make Absorbing Man very tanky, but Hulk's just able to just just punch through all of that resistance and, and do the damage that is necessary. Um, it, it is a bit of a pain, or it is a bit of a nuisance, you know, fighting Absorbing Man with Hulk because you do you are encouraged to you know use heavies to cancel out um, that regen that he does get, uh, and that does activate Gamma Rage. There's you know you could. Uh, just ignore that and just go for full gamma rage and just punch through all of the region but it's it's probably more reliable just to just to cancel that region to be safe anyway um so it is a very like to put this in context this is a slow hulk fight you know most hulk fights would be done by this time um even a rank one but uh absorbing man is a, is a tanky boy but um yeah so the region is quite potent at low health for him because it is based on missing health but we get a nice inset there at the end into a special three and that does finish uh, that absorbing man off so yeah pretty much a perfect fight there for hulk just a rank one still went pretty fast for an absorbing man all right now i know i showed this fight in my last video but i just can't get enough of it this is this is such a good matchup um and a good fight uh this, this was a rank five, uh, five kindred i think um or it might have been rank four even um, this is back. This is so. This is when Hulk is ranked two, and you'll see the amount of damage he does get. There's no protection on this nerd, obviously, um, but we are still running, you know, full science boosts. Uh, and this is the node that has, you know, um, personal space regen, so he does get a lot of regen when we're close to him. Uh, but once we get that gamma rage up, uh, he, he's just going to melt. Uh, we're just going to be able to punch through all that regen, and it's going to be lights out. And I've gotten very, I did get very good at fighting Kindred before this fight, you know, punishing his specials. Not his special one, I'm not good at that, but just punishing his special two. Um, so you can stop that uh, that um, counter building up. So 12k mediums there. We're up to 11 furies now. Want to bait another special two, obviously. He does get power gain when we're immune to um, placebo buffs, I think, because we do have the, surf the surface energy. Get a special two, punch him down to that final route. He does throw his special two before us, unfortunately, but uh, we, with that in, with an involved boost, we have active. 
it does do it does do zero damage so we're able to I think finish him off with our special three here so yeah essentially a perfect fight because you know, we well, I anticipated he would have a special three by the end all right so now for a bit of battlegrounds gameplay so we got here my this is when hulk was rank one against spot rank four spot i believe i'm um, pretty sure this was of the first meta of the season with uh counter current well, I, I can't remember the node but where you, if you do two lights in a row or two mediums in a row they get a prowess and that impact charge um, but we got good here at fighting just alternating lights and mediums like light medium light medium combos he actually blocks our special two uh, but threw that way too late so that could have actually killed him and the fight would have been over in you know 30 40 seconds but unfortunately it was not to be uh, we punish the special two there it's important you do punish spot specials so it puts the spots on cooldown even for a few seconds it does help um, but unfortunately he does get quite a few spots here and does get to five in about eight hits so we want to bait out a special two well ideally you want to bait the special two and then punish but we actually got a hit in right before so uh, we don't want to make contact with him here because it will give us ruptures like they won't do too much damage but every little bit counts and then we finish him off here with a special one so pretty clean fight there against spot who can be an annoying defender at the best of time this one was later in the same day i believe this is against i think it might have been just a rank three arcus but it's still arcus can be in a, a, a problematic defender um you know especially if he gets those um block penetration if he gets that block penetration charge and throws a special two it can do quite a lot of damage you know um, but we've got a few medium light combos in there we want to bait obviously special ones ideally but special twos actually won't do too much damage you know we can dex out the end of it as long as he doesn't have that impact charge, we'll be fine. We get a few nice medium light combos there. You can see the special two did what two percent of our health, not even. And special two did not crit. Uh, and he, I don't know actually why I threw the special two. I probably should have just kept you know throwing medium light combos. Um, and he did actually shrug the traumas as well with his sig ability. But here we go for a striker into a heavy that does stick. And here we just smash him down and get him. And we still have pretty much full health. So, yeah. Only a rank 3 Arcus, but still pretty um, pretty clean fight. Right, so this will probably be the highlight of the video um, today, guys. This is a rank 2 Sasquatch boss. So this guy has over a million health. And look at his PI, you know, 144,000. Um, this guy is crazy. This is our rank two Hulk, but um, we're completely unboosted because this was off season. So this is with the decay uh, and sugar pill tactics active. Hulk being a decay attacker and Sasquatch being a sugar pill uh, defender. This is why Hulk gets banned. This is why Hulk is getting banned every war because of this. Um, so we're able to chain here into a special three. We get our gamma rage up. Special three inflicts a massive physical vulnerability debuff. I think it's like several thousand. Um, worth and you'll see the amount of damage we're getting it's insane this is unboosted by the way like imagine in in season what this damage will be wait when he actually throws a special look at this we just hit a 41k medium unboosted we got 29 physical vulnerabilities lined up and it could have been more if he actually threw a special too sooner would have had more furies but it wasn't to be so a million health only a minute in he's already over halfway down or a minute and a half in and so we obviously want to go for another special three to get that another big physical vulnerability just to uh push past that last burst of regen um being a seven star it wasn't a super high sig uh sasquatch but it's still considerable regen um i think towards the end and so he does go he does actually go into wrath pretty early there he only had four i think so you can see the wrath is not lasting very long at all i did not dex out the last bit of that special which was a bit of a mistake and we're at 14 fury so we want to get one more hit in so we can get to 15 because you don't get that physical vulnerability uh, unless your gamma rage is active so we're not even 100 hits in and he's already He's only 20% health left. And so we want to get the special two out of the way, obviously. While we're casually hitting for, you know, 100k combos. And we want to pretty much just chain into a striker into a special one, and that will be 
fucking lights out. Like, that was just insane. A million health in two and a half minutes, unboosted. All right, but enough about Hulk. What about Chavez? The BG queen right now. Um, I am really mad at myself that I didn't record these fights because these are some crazy numbers. This was the, um, this was the last meta, the one that just ended a few days ago. Uh, because, because of the amount of attacks she gets per buff on the opponent, she's just able to melt these champions. Look, this is an absorbing man. 33 seconds. A rank 5 max sig killmonger. 42 seconds. She was able to finish on full health with the, I think the regen from the special 2 that she can get with one of her dimensions active. Rank 5 Rintra with all of his crit resistance and energy resistance. She's able to get him down in under a minute and finish with 49k. And look at my opponent. He was able to get a doom down in 64 seconds with her. That's, because uh, I'm pretty sure his was ranked 2 as well. And you can see we've both got uh, Iron Fist Relics on because um, that does do quite a lot of stuff. Right? Also, I do want to shout out Vega um, from YouTube. He's He's been a big um, fan of America Chavez even before she got buffed. So, um, yeah, I've seen his America Chavez gameplay and um, absolutely no regrets on taking a rank two. So this was, um, a, this was a fight I recorded from last BG season back when I was on uh, on the track still uh, against a Hulkling, which is uh, close to her best matchup because of the amount of buffs Hulkling gets. Um, it's just insane. So I think I did actually get hit by this Hulkling, but which was a mistake, but uh, we were still able to just absolutely destroy him. Um, uh, she's just like 15k medium just casually. Uh, that, that's where I messed up there. I, I was I was about to get to a special three, but I threw a special two um, at the wrong time and he blocked it. But here we throw the special two and by that time he's already dead. So uh, we we still, um, I'm pretty sure we still won that that match anyway. And she's even been able to do some good stuff for me in this this um, meta that just started a few days ago um, with the uh, the prowess that has protection involved. Um, just because, because even though it does have protection involved, she, she's able to just push past that that uh, that, um, that protection and just mow them down. Um, so that was in a tumor there that went down in 38 seconds. And then I'll do, I did record this one as well. This was a rank four Rintra, I believe. Um, this wasn't the best showcase of America Chavez versus Rintra in this meta, but it still was well, somewhat successful. We still did win the match. Um, I didn't quite get him down in time because Rintra is on the tankier side. Um, and Wind of Opportunity Sun does sort of hurt her a bit because you can't just throw um, heavies willy-nilly because it does, you know, obviously stun the opponent. Um, but we were able to get some nice um, heavy punishes from his special one. Uh, a very bad special two there because I didn't go for the um, the orange dimension that does extra burst damage. So I should have got that up before throwing the special that first special two. But we get that up there with the special one. And I probably should have counted with a heavy there, but we were able to get a heavy in just before the window of opportunity comes back on. And we have two of our dimensions active right now. We don't have the um, the purple one up, but we do now. He does have 11 prowess up, so that's basically 50% resistance. But you can still see we're still hitting for 7k mediums because of all the prowess buffs that he does have. They do give us a lot of attack. But unfortunately, she doesn't have a way to you know, nullify the prowess buffs. But she just tried to punch it through the best way she can. So the special dude did pretty much no damage because he does have 15 prowess buffs now. Um, but still, she does pretty well. Um, we didn't quite get him done, but uh, that's pretty much that's a pretty good score for a Rintra in this meta. Uh, but I did mess up here because um, I did I think hit into his block here, and he was able to regen like 15% health. Uh, but I think we still won the match. So a bit of a bad ending, but still did pretty well overall. So yeah, there's a little bit of a teaser, uh, a little bit of a showcase into rank two Hulk and Chavez. And there's a bit of Venom Duck in there as well, but you know, everyone knows how good Venom Duck is. I said that before. So um, if you guys saw a match that you wanted to ask me about, feel free to do that in the comments uh, or join my Discord. Um, hopefully Hulk doesn't get banned too much this season and I get to use him because uh, I've got some exciting war vids coming to you this season I think guys and then I've got some pretty exciting stuff for Battlegrounds starting next season I've got some pretty I've got a new format that I'm tempted to try out so um, stick around to the channel for that and uh, yeah peace out guys I'll see you in the next one Get down.